Hi everyone, this is a quick video about estimating. So estimating is a really important skill that you'll need perhaps when you're a bit older um, to calculate how much paint you need to paint a room or to work out your bills or uh, to work out recipes, things like that. Really important um, skill for you to learn. So in a maths uh, kind of question and tests, you're often asked to estimate something like this 3.9 times 5.4 well we could work out exactly what 3.9 times 5.4 is um, but if it's an estimating question you wouldn't actually get any marks if you work that out exactly you have to round the numbers first and then work it out so the whole point of this is getting a rough answer which you can do quickly maybe in your head and that's like a guess to about what the answer is, even if it's not exactly right. So we use this, what I call the curly equal sign, like roughly equal to. You don't have to use that, but it, it just looks quite nice, I think, and it means roughly equal to. So this 3.9 here, now that is close to 4. And if we're rounding that to the nearest whole number, or to one significant figure, if you've studied that, you'll get 4. The time stays the same, and the 5.4 well, it's between 5 and 6, and this 4 here means that we're going to round down, so we're going to keep it as 5. So it's going to be 4 times 5, which is equal to 20. Now, 20 is probably not the perfect answer to 3.9 times 5.4, but that's okay. It's going to be roughly accurate. Okay, so sometimes they're um, a bit more tricky. Something like... 231 times 15 divided by 1.83, something like that. So, and the question would be estimate that answer, or round the numbers to estimate. So again, we do the curly equal sign, which means roughly equal to, and I'm not going to work it out exactly, because um, I'm just estimating. And I would round the numbers first. So this 231, well, I could use 230, but that's still going to be quite a difficult number to work with. So instead, I'm going to use 200. I don't use 300 because 231 is closer to 200 than it is 300. And I'm going to times by, well, I could use 15, but again, I'm going to make it even easier for myself. I could use 10 or 20, but because of the 5... That means I'm going to round up to 20. And I'm going to divide by... Now, nobody likes dividing by 1.83. Uh, I could pick 1.8, but again, that's going to be tricky, so I'm going to make it really easy for myself and round to 2. So you can see that this sum is a lot nicer to work out. So I work out the numerator, the top first, 200 times 20. Well, I can do the 2 times the 2, and that's going to give me 4. And I've got one, two, three zeros. So one, two, three. That's four thousand. Divide by two. And four thousand divided by two is two thousand. So again, two thousand is probably not going to be the exact answer to uh, this sum here, but it doesn't matter. It's just an estimation. It will be about two thousand. A bit higher, a bit lower. Don't really know. Don't really care. It's just an estimation. It's about two thousand. OK, um, I'm going to move all of this stuff out of the way and give you a couple to try. So why don't we start you off with 1.7 times 4.3. That's quite a nice easy one to start with. And the second one, a bit more tricky, we're going to go with 34 times... Uh, 561 divided by 0 0.9. Okay, you may want to pause the video and give those a go. Okay, let's see how you got on. So I hope you used the curly equal sign, which means roughly equal to. I'm going to round the 1.7 to 2. And I'm going to round the 4.3, that's going to round down to 4. 2 times 4, 8. So the answer is going to be about 8. And that would be correct as your estimation. 
The next one here, I'm going to round the 34, that's going to round to 30. If you round it to 40, that's not quite right because the 4 means the 34 will round down to 30. Um, this 561, you could use 560, but that's going to make it difficult for yourself. I would say that this 61 here would make the 561 round up to 600. And that's going to be divided by, well, this 0 0.9, the closest number whole number to that is 1. So 30 times 600 divided by 1. 3 times the 6 is 18, and I've got 1, 2, 3 zeros, so 1, 2, 3, that's 18,000, divided by 1. Well, any number divided by 1 is just that same number, so the answer is 18,000. Well done if you got that one too. Okay, that's all for estimating.